I've been trying to navigate the LSAT right now. I actually got a subscription to the LSAC hub with all of the practice tests. So right now I'm just trying to work through some of the quizzes and things like that. And I'm finding that the older prep tests, like from I think it's 20 to I think 30 or so, those ones are a little bit hard for me in terms of LR. And I'm wondering if there's like a language change between those and the newer ones, such as like uh, prep test 60 and above. That's a good I'm question. Finding, yeah. The exam has gradually and slowly evolved over time. I think the ones in the 20s and 30s are fairly similar overall. I think really pre-20 is when you're going to see a lot of differences and especially little nuances in language because it was actually written by a different company before that. But 20s and 30s should be roughly the same. I think what you'll notice especially is that with the 60s, the question stems are a little bit trickier. They'll use different words and phrases to refer to common question types. But that's a question stem thing. Are you thinking more about the stimulus? Yeah, like I'm reading some of the stimulus and I noticed that some of like the language and like the older prep test has really been tripping me up and I'm not sure what it is necessarily, but I heard from, I think, another student that um, the language kind of changed between the, the older prep tests and like the newer ones. And that way we should just kind of look towards like the, the ones that were written in like the 2000s. Yeah, I mean, I could say overall more recent is certainly more relevant. Mm -hmm. One other change I could note, not really a language change, but more of a, a format change is that a lot of the logical reasoning has gotten less formal logic based. So diagramming mm -hmm. was never really that useful on the majority of questions. It's become even less useful overall. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.